They were called the 20 Centers. It was 1932, and these men were hired to help skilled workers build the new Canadian Forces military base near Trenton, Ontario. The rate of pay was just $5 a month, or 20 cents a day, hence their nickname. The men had to pay for their own board, food at the mess hall, and clothing. The Great Depression had gripped the country. Many men were destitute, unable to find work. So when the government chose Trenton as the ideal site to build a new base, several unemployment relief projects, including number 28, were created. The unskilled workers were men with families or homeless men who were given the opportunity of learning something of the building trades so that they'd leave the work better equipped than when they joined the projects. The Trenton area was considered an ideal site for the new military base. It had a moderate climate, sheltered waters for a seaplane station, and flat land for runways. The town of Trenton had the railway, schools, full services such as power and water, and it was close to Toronto and Ottawa. 948 acres of flat farmland was expropriated and cleared for hangars, runways, pilot quarters, and administrative buildings. The boost to Trenton's economy during a time when families struggled to make ends meet was life-changing. In all, 778 men were hired for the number 28 relief project. CFB Trenton was officially opened in August of 1931, with the first of many squadrons arriving soon after. The unemployment relief projects officially ended in the summer of 1936. Many of the buildings and roads the 20 centers helped construct remain today. Part of the history of Canada's Air Force hub and the region's largest employer.